that were fully mint. I put a uh, post out the other day seeing what people want for the next video and they chose my super cheap retaining walls. These walls here are Metcalf and they're really decent, but by the time you pay postage, it's about 17 quid and you get four in a pack, so that's like four pound odd each. So I'm going to do some that are about 30 pence each and I'm going to do a premium version that's a little bit more, but not much more. All right, double O Dave, let's not beat about the bush. What do we need? We need some of this Metcalf blue engineer's brick. Why blue engineer's brick? It's a lot stronger brick than other brick and it lasts a lot longer. Some scrap card that you should always save because it's decent. Some super glue and some activator. You don't necessarily need activator, but I just like it because it speeds things up. Super. Next, you're going to need a little bit of copy decks. There we go. It smells beautiful. It's like being at school again. Craft knife with a semi blunt blade. Don't really need to be semi blunt, but I'm just ready for a new one. And a ruler. Is that it, I ask? Well, it is, unless you want premium one, where we'll use a few more of these coping stones. Right, are we going to step by step it to pieces this time, I hear you ask? Yeah, of course we are, because why not? Because step by steps are super. So, get your send your scrap card and cut your send a nice square edge. So, cut your bottom off and then cut a side off, and then it'll be beautiful, ready to start measuring up. I'm going to do mine the exact size of the Metcalf stuff. So, for that reason, you only get two per sheet of Metcalf brick. It's uh, 60 pence a sheet, so each one's going to cost you roughly 30 p. because everything else is just recycled. As I'm showing here, you could make it a little bit shorter and get four out of a sheet. It depends how you want it, but I yeah, I wanted to keep them sane in case you ever want to blend them in. So it's your choice. You can either make them 15 pence each or 30 pence each. You decide. So the Metcalf ones are roughly 133 mil wide by 103 mil tall. That's rough, don't get me one or two mil, let's chill about that, but that's about where we're at. So we're going to cut this piece to that size. Then you're going to get your engineer's brick and you're going to cut that piece to that size as well. And I use the, uh, the cardboard backing as the template so that I know what size to do. And due to the method I use, this doesn't need to be absolutely perfect, it can be a little smidgen wrong, don't matter. Right, you get your front piece and your back piece and you basically glue them together. I'm using super glue, but you can use you who or any old glue. Uh, I just have got super glue. Just a bit of a tip here. If you're watching someone on TV that's entertaining and you get super glue all over your hands as you're doing it because you're not paying attention and then you want to clap, yeah, don't do that because then you're going to glue your hands together. Anyway, next thing you want to do is cut a strip 30 mil wide by the same height as the uh, retaining wall, so 103 mil. Get yourself it on the ruler and bend it over about a quarter of the way up, nice and smooth in a straight line, like a madman. Do it like a madman and you'll never go wrong, then put it on ground and then do it again like a madman. I'd rather use cutting mat than ground though, because ground can be a bit minging. Once you've done that, flip it round and do the other side. Make it so that the piece is about 15 mil wide, or there or thereabouts. And get a good old pressing down. What this is going to be, it's going to be like the overlappy bit, where it's going to join one to another, and it's going to hide the joins, and it's not going to have any uh, exposed cardboard, so it's going to look nice. Right, just to save ruining cutting mat and gluing it to the floor and everything, I've put a little bit of greaseproof paper on there and I'm going to just stick a bit of super glue down each side and then press it down nice. Again, I'm going to do it like a madman. Look at that, get angry with it and it'll uh, work a lot better. I squirt a bit of activator on it now, basically just to stop it gluing my fingers together because I knew that all coming. Right, now I'm using that little bit of scrap leftover card next to that other one so that it's same height or similar height and I just put a little bit of glue running up the wall on the edge. And that all that's for is to stop this piece that I'm about to stick on halfway across falling off, if that makes sense. Stick that down nice and it'll be brilliant. So yeah, I know I mentioned I, uh, the engineering brick's a lot stronger, but reality is, is because I've got loads of this left over, because I bought some ones for one little thing and I've never used it since, so maybe I'm telling the truth now. Right, I'm just gonna give this a little bit of activator just so that it sets any glue that's sticking out so it doesn't glue it to my hand. And this is what it should look like. 
as you can see there's a nice join now where that's joined you can't see any cardboard so it's nice it's all brick colored like it's a nice piece of curved brick and as you can see from that that's how it's going to slot together with your next piece and so on and so on and so on right what's next here you ask scrap card get it down boom cut yourself a bit of this scrap five mil wide by 103 mil long Right, now you've got that like Gordon Ramsay, you need to score it all the way down nice and fast like I can do. Right, now you need something heavy, I use a brew, a nice Mr's brew. As you can see by that colour, it's not got much milk in it and that's the way you should be drinking your tea. Anyway, I'm just using that to stand that on, look, that's perfect for it and it's a nice delicious drink. Stick your send some glue on top and stick your... Uh, section that you've just made on top of that and that is beautiful get a nice little squirt with some activator just like before so you don't get glue all over your fingers and this is what it should look like and as you can see it's not half bad is it right you can stop at that now if you wanted and that is the super cheap retaining wall and it costs 30 pence but wait a minute if you want to make it premium boom get you sent some of these if you've got any left over even better and i think i've invented this someone might correct me but this little method i might have invented so that's the retaining wall -y top bit look the coping stone which will look nice and you can use that if you want but what else you can use is these in between your bits i love using these and i don't know if anyone else has ever used them but i love them and i save them for that reason because i love them like like i love drinking tea so as you can see from this fancy little slow-mo i'm doing by myself uh that don't look a million miles off from Metcalf. It looks completely crackers because it's wrong colour, but as you can see, if you had similar colour, you could put it next to it and you wouldn't look a million mile off. Anyway, get these little snippets, hold them in tweezers if you've got massive fingers, and get a bit of copy decks or any other glue. I wouldn't use super glue for this, though. Just paint a little bit on it like that, and then just put it in a similar position to where Metcalf's got his little ledge, and it'll look decent, and I'll speed it up and show you it. So as you can see, nice and steady, just dabbing it in place, trying to keep it level, following brick line. It's quite easy because of brick line. Uh, and there we go. As you can see, there's a little bit of overspill of copy decks. It doesn't even matter that because we're going to do something awesome on that and put a little bit of garbage on it. So look now, if you can see, if we'd used stonework instead of blue brick, that would have been a decent match up there and it wouldn't have looked bad at all, would it? I've done that all over my layout if you're looking places because I needed a thinner wall at Metcalf were too thick. Right here comes a little bit of garbage. By garbage, it's just green plant material stuff that I just collect from uh, doing machinery. So I'll put a bit of that in loose bit of glue, stick it on and uh, that's all the good one. You're going to have to have fast eyes here, look, there you go, and it's gone. Look at that, that was brilliant, wasn't it? Good editing. On a side note, what do you think to me, Easter carrots theme? Oh, my God, is bring it weathering powder out on dining table. Oh, dear, what's going to happen? Because my missus is at work, you see, I'm a bit braver, I'll do it again on dining table, and I'll use black, why not? I'll just dab it on any old owl look and then work it around a little bit. I've hardly got any black left because I knocked full pot of it other month, and uh, basically I had to sweep that up. So uh, it was nearly a full pot and now it's nearly empty. What an absolute maniac. I've better eight mess at floor and all in, uh, in the old Liberty Junction floor area. So because I'm not going to be using this on my layout, I could get away with weathering this like an absolute wild animal, which is what I'm going to do. Uh, and I'm going to try and do it like a lion. So here we go, look. I'm just going to speed through it because why do you need to see all this? But I keep working away at it, rubbing it about up and down, up and down. I don't do it left and right though. Don't do it left and right, because why not? Anyway, this is making it nice and grotty. Put a bit down here, put a bit up there, here, there and everywhere. That's what I say. Get a little tap -a -roo, then get rid of all the evidence of me ever doing any weathering on the dining table, because that's not worth my life. And here it is, folks, installed on Liberty Junction temporarily, so you can get a bit of an idea. It's, uh, it's a bit of a strange one doing it next to the bridge, but it looked crackers everywhere else, so I thought I'd do that. Obviously, there's a pillar missing now, so it's a bit odd, but it gives you an idea, and it doesn't look half bad, does it? A couple of cheeky close-up photos just to give you another angle, but, uh, yeah, that's the uh, super cheap retaining wall. Hope you're happy with your vote. I really wanted to do that crackers police dog one, though. 
If any of you is thinking, oh, I wish I could have some of them, but I can't be bothered doing them, I actually do sell them. Each section I sell for £48.99 plus VAT plus postage. Okay, uh, so that's £62.80. If you want them, just contact me direct. Cheers, buddy. Next one's going to be Extreme Train Spotters. It's school holidays again. I can't believe it, so I'll try and film it when I can. Cheers, folks. See you later.